I do not have COVID, and that's the good news. Uh, even though I've been vaccinated, got the triple vaccinations, I'm also COVID free. So I'm definitely going to lab today. Yay! Bye, kids. Enjoy the school run. See you later. Thomas is here. Bye bye. Oh, Thomas. Hi. From my hometown, I got on the Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. Once arrived at London Paddington, you need to go to the underground and get onto the Bakerloo line. Once on the Bakerloo line, make sure you go in the right direction to Marleybone Station. Once on the upper ground lines, you then take the train to Gerald's Cross. From Gerald's Cross to Packer Scout Camp takes roughly about 45 minutes to walk. Now those who know me well, I'm that crazy I would easily and happily walk that 45 minutes to the scout camp. But I want to thank Penny Scotland for picking me up from the Gerald's Cross station and taking me to the site. Saving me, I want to thank Penny for allowing me to crash in her tent over the weekend. And it was a joy walking around all the factions with her, trying to collect alchemy ingredients for a potion that she helped me research. From the bottom of my heart, thank you for a great weekend. I got to the site a day early for most of the players and I got to witness the hustle and bustle of the game being set up. Most of the faction referees managed to put up most of their tents and the players were gradually coming on site and setting up their own things. Now this is the first time I managed to go around from faction to faction and seen what they would put together or what set pieces they had. Even Moorish had a little in character bit like they've done over the last couple of years I've known and helped volunteer for them. Each faction had their own unique setup. Some had Foulspawn heads on display of previous enemies they've battled. One faction had cursed armor on display. I've been on many medieval film sets. And what curious pastimes and the factions put together, I would say have beaten those film sets I've been on. With the setup every faction has, it helps with the role play and it helps with the game especially when you're in that environment there's barely anything that would suggest modern technology it's one of many things i really enjoy about about curious pastimes as a whole first day to set up managed to grab a few little bits spoke to will brown one of the uh the main guys here at curious pastimes and i've been given a orange high fish jacket for when i'm filming during time in We'll be meeting up with LARP book some point tomorrow. I've already met up with Ian at having a LARP. Bought a few little extra bits, but I will probably give you guys a better update tomorrow. I've enjoyed sitting down with the referees of the step, having a nice little chat with them off camera, I might add, in front of the fire pit, and just got to catch up really, more than anything, which was nice. Probably do that again tomorrow. Meet up with a hell of a lot more players tomorrow as well, and have a good chat with them. So till then, I'm going to head off into bed, get some rest, see you all tomorrow. I'm Jessica, I'm in the step, I'm also known as Liv. I am Jack Gibbon, I am a part of the um, Step Alliance, uh, represented at the main con of the Lunds. I have been playing Curious Pastimes for about four years now, um, assuming to be five. I've been playing Curious Pastimes for 15 years. This event was my first battle as I've been growing up within the system. What I've enjoyed the most in the system so far is the battles are absolutely brilliant. The best qualities of Curious Pastimes is the community. Uh, it's a very well kept community that is very friendly and very supportive. Um, the role play characters, some of them are absolutely phenomenal. As a whole, with CP, it's the 
dynamic of how you get into plot. So if you want to get in the military side of the game, there is a whole avenue for that, and people are always willing for people to join that. What would you say needs improving with Curious Persons? Uh, personally, it has been edited recently, and has been kind of more pronounced and as more has happened, mm -hmm. but it's the opportunities for children within Curious Pastimes to achieve more in the main world plot. Because when they do kids and teenagers, those are separate to the mainline plot. Now they've started bringing it more into the inline plot, it's helped the game a bit. So bring it more in for opportunities for, children, uh, for kids that might not be able to get involved in the main battle. The thing that Curious Pastimes probably needs to improve on, I'd say, with an old character I've played before, I was in the blacksmith's guild and I just find that's really muddled and fuddled and there's not really organisation. Um, either it needs to be made a bit more easier or more player friendly because people who do get interested in it, in it do get bored and I unfortunately have changed character because I, I was struggling with it and to try and get further in it is it's challenging. <laughs> I haven't had a chance to really speak to the camera this time because I've been overwhelmingly busy with my character. But now, Kotick is getting around a bit more and being useful in other factions and stuff. Continuing on with his journey. The fun thing about attending this weekend so far is attending the skirmish, sorting out some plot stuff with a step, and the lines to Teetona and Jaheg, and one person from the Fur Turin. All managed to join in with this little skirmish and we had a blast. And last night I even witnessed an autopsy on a werewolf and I took the notes. So now that character is now going to have to fill out a couple of reports and send them off to various people. So I'm going to be extremely busy today trying to write notes, do the Mongol prayers, continue writing the notes, speak to the... Mm. Another thing before I forget, it's on my, on my neck here. I'm now A to the library, so I now have a rank, which means uh, it comes with certain perks, but... I yet to find out, I need a chat to the person who gave that to me to find out what the perks actually do and what I gain, etc. I've got to go god sick. If there's not a big queue at god, I'm going to go quickly check in. So for the only the only downside I have about this campsite, Pakistan, because it's just in the outskirts of London, we have a lot of planes flying over. Some very low level helicopters, small small two-man aircraft flying over and it just makes a racket and you can't, you can, for that moment you can't hear and it's just like kind of, just let the plane pass first and then carry on talking. Right, I'm going to finish off with breakfast, I'm going to get going. Let's carry on with the vlog. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Is this the people The guy on your left is Steve Mitchell, a very famous LARP photographer and a bloody good one at that. The guy in the middle, Rob Davies of LARP book. Here he is, I caught him in the act trying to catch me in the act. Ha ha, I win. Yeah, that's right, you laughed. I'm off the hook. Now, I'm going to put this across to the bigwigs who allow me to have permission to film over the weekend. Curious Pastimes has a great community. Don't worry about the competition and worry about what they're doing. You have a great community. Talk to people on camera, as you saw, as well as off camera. Focus on your game. You don't have to worry about the community. At least that's my opinion anyway. Look after the player base you have. It will continue to grow. I do agree with what someone else said in the video. You get out of it what you put in. I had a list of things I needed to do. I couldn't get half of them done. I missed out on the Academy War because I was doing so much with other people. Trying to run around getting alchemy ingredients of a potion help research. Trying to sort out the Surgeon Guild stuff, which I didn't get around to doing, but managed to get in on an autopsy. Monster in there. Oh! I absolutely loved Monster in there. I was only able to do one day because I was taking notes on the second day. I did two things while I was monstering, and I absolutely loved it. I was a postman for the Fred Sheeran. He played Russell and they was a Welshman. Second part, I was a Norsk and Scout. We got a lot of go from the Jeherik. Jeherik? I still can't pronounce that name. And again, I wish I took pictures of me as the postman. Like I said, because there was so much going on. I'm gutted I couldn't get an interview with Matt, Callie and Dylan. 
on their experiences because the car journey back was full of positive vibes and great memories of the weekend past. I don't think there was a bad word said. However, I am glad I waited till now to film my final thoughts because even from out here in the Baltic Sea, I'm seeing issues that have popped up with E1 and already curious pastimes are trying to sort them out. They're trying their best and they are looking after their player base. There's one thing I can definitely put down for Curious Pastimes is that they do try their best to look after their current player base. I'll be uploading the full interview of Jessica and Jack down the line. My next Curious Pastimes event plan to be E3 in July. I will hopefully bring in two new players to the game and with better time management, film their experiences and record their thoughts and views. I will keep everyone posted about E3 plans on my other social media pages. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully see all of you at E3. See you again on the next vlog. Bye bye.